Welcome to another episode. Was that majestic? <laughs> what is up everybody? Welcome back. And uh, who is ready to finally see us finish the pond? I know I've been saying that forever, but it is finally time to get it finished. So yesterday we started without you. I'm sorry, I didn't film anything. I was by myself. It was pouring rain all day and it was a pain in the ass, but uh, we got all the gravel in the pond. So the problem was the gravel was super dirty. So what we had to do is use these buckets here. So I had to use this one with holes drilled in it, shovel the gravel into there, rinse it really good with a hose and then pour it into this bucket and then carry it in here, throw it in here and uh, spread it out. So I think it looks pretty good. But uh, it's all dry right now. It looks a lot better when it's all wet. So now what we need to do is get this pipe all painted. So you see I marked the water level right here. So I am gonna cut these to the length that I want them, glue the little spray nozzles in here, and then we are gonna take this whole thing down with this union right here. I'm gonna undo this, take the whole thing off, and then uh, get it all sanded up, and we are gonna get it painted. We're gonna get this piece also painted, and then um, we can fill it back up with water. The other thing that I'm super excited about is once we get it filled up, we are finally gonna be able to see what our awesome piece of driftwood here looks like. So I've been waiting to get that thing in the pond. So I'm really excited guys, get it all filled with water. So the pond will be done, it will be functioning. The only thing it still needs is a heat pump to keep it heated in the winter and cool in the summer. But we're getting that here soon. But other than that, it will be fully functioning. We still have a lot of stuff to do to make it look better, but fully functioning. So let's get these pipes off, get measurements pulled, get a list, go to the store, get the stuff, come back and get it painted. All right, she's pulled out. We got it all set up on saw horses now, ready to paint. But first, let's glue in our little spray nozzles here. So I already got everything cut to length. So we'll sand the ends real quick and then glue them in. And then we can start painting everything. So I'm super excited to see what it looks like all painted. I think it's going to look sick. on this one I did not get it in there very far so these things like barely fit in here and I'm trying to do it upside down and uh, yeah it did not work so good so that looks like crap but we'll see it's already glued in and it doesn't really have to hold pressure or anything so I'm just gonna leave it and paint over it and then try to do a better job on the rest but yeah not so great on that Yeah, so it was not just me on that first one. Those style jets that I got, they're supposed to glue in the end of this size PVC like perfectly, and they do not fit at all. So, I mean, they fit. I got them in, but barely. You can see every one is like. Not all the way in. And I made sure I put plenty of glue on there and stuff, and I made sure I cleaned up the inside edges good, so. That's kind of annoying. I got those from Sacramento Koi. They're called the Mozzie Eye Style Jets. So I would recommend if you get those to make sure you sand them down or something before, which I could have done, but I'm being lazy. And these are gonna work fine how they are. I know they hold enough pressure because when I just had them stuffed in the end before they were holding pressure and it looks ugly, but I'm gonna paint them anyways and that extra inch or whatever is it gonna make a difference in where they're at. So I'm just gonna leave it how it is. They're glued in there good enough and then I'm gonna paint over it so let's get everything sanded up and ready for paint just kidding i lied we still gotta glue all of this one up and then we will sand that down and start painting so okay i am 
also I'm gonna take this rag with a little bit of acetone I'm just gonna use that to clean it up a little bit because all these pipes are dirty they've been sitting here had water running and stuff so get it cleaned up and then we're gonna tape off the threads on the top of this and this one is ready for paint Okay, so first coat done on that. So we'll do a few coats. So we'll let that sit for a minute and do another coat. By the way, I'm using this Krylon Fusion spray paint. So I was very skeptical about doing spray paint on this just because I don't want it flaking off and stuff later. But everything I read online and a ton of people said they had great experiences with it says that Krylon Fusion actually bonds with PVC extremely well. So it is hot in here. If you can't tell, I'm sweating, but We'll let that set up while we start sanding this bad boy over here. Get this all prepped and ready, and then let's get that painted too. All right, it's all sanded up, cleaned up. I got everything taped up that I don't want painted, so get started putting a coat on this. So I taped off the union on that side. Right, kind of see I taped inside the threads on all of these just so I don't screw up the threads but none of these need to be perfectly watertight so even if they get a little screwed up not a big deal but let's get okay that was a pain in the butt getting all these little angles around the fittings and stuff and getting it good without making it drip and it's hot in here i'm pouring sweat it's not even that hot in here it's just so humid that it makes it feel way hot but uh she's done i think it looks pretty good we're still gonna put two more coats on but you guys don't need to see that it's just the same thing over and over again so I'll get back to you in just a second when the rest is done. We are back 24 hours later. The pipe is painted. Ended up doing three coats. It is all cured up. Turned out pretty good. I thought there was going to be a bunch of drips and stuff, but I don't really think there is. It looks great. But uh, sorry for the bad lighting. This is I got to come work on this after I work my day job. And thanks to Daylight Savings, it is dark outside by the time I get home now. There's a train, which is perfect timing. But uh Anyways, this is all good, so let's get this slapped back up there. Let's get the skimmer put on, and then let's grab a hose and start filling this baby up. back on so we are ready to go I just got to put the skimmer on but I can do that while this is filling up because it's gonna take a while so let's get the hose going and start filling her up it's filling up we got the water is kind of dirty from the gravel you know it's not perfectly washed I think I did a pretty good job but whatever but uh so what we're gonna do now before it gets all the way filled up it actually is surprisingly clean but I'm gonna plug this in and run the filter on waste so it's just gonna spit the water out so we're basically gonna take all the dirty water spit it out just flood this area of the greenhouse and then once it's drained then we'll start filling it up with nice new clean water so <laughs> plug it in
Okay, the pond is filling up. You can see you did a fairly good job of rinsing the gravel because the water is actually not that dirty, but it's taken forever to fill up. I'm going to be here all night. I don't even know if I'll finish tonight. Might have to come back tomorrow. But for inspiration, check out this awesome piece of driftwood that I got for the pond. So I'm super excited to get this in. I might try to get it in tonight, but I don't want to scratch the glass. It's really heavy. I don't know if I can get it in by myself. It's literally like half a tree. I don't know if you guys can see how big this thing is, but that is going to go right there in front of the window in the pond. Awesome centerpiece. Some of these top branches are going to be sticking out of the water with plants growing on them and stuff. So I've been dying to see this thing in the pond. So I will get you updated when I get it in there. Wish me luck. The pond is almost full, so not quite, but it's full enough. We got all the filtration running. You can see all the water. I feel like we got pretty good flow in this thing. Skimmer is working over there. And the water is a bit dirty. The heater just kicked on, so sorry if that's loud. But the water is a bit dirty, but it's not too bad. The filter will clear it up in no time. So now we're going to add this. So for those of you that don't know, you use tap water, you got to use a dechlorinator or a tap water conditioner of some type. Tap water has chlorine, chloramines in it, no good for fish. So you got to use something to detoxify that. I've never used this one before, but I'm going to try it. It is called Pond Prime by Seachem. I've had good luck with Seachem products in my aquariums. So I'm going to trust this one and give it a shot. But uh, yeah, we will get this put in there. And then honestly, I'm going to go to bed. It is like midnight and I got to wake up at 6 a.m. to go to work tomorrow. So. We're gonna go ahead and cut scene. I'm gonna go to bed and then we'll get back with you guys tomorrow. Who knows, maybe I'll go swimming in this thing finally. All right, we're back at the greenhouse. Sorry if it's loud, it is pouring rain outside. So it's really loud in here right now. But uh, the pond is pretty much ready. We are gonna get, we're pretty much full I mean. We are going to get this piece of driftwood in there, but the problem with that is the driftwood floats. So we got to find a way to sink it down for a few weeks while it gets waterlogged until it'll stay in place. So I think how we're going to do that is these cinder blocks over here, extra ones we had laying around. I think I'm going to put them around the bottom branches, get it all situated how I want. But the problem with that is I got to get in there to do that. And the water is like 50 degrees because we just filled it up with a hose. So it is freezing cold. I'm really not looking forward to it, but everybody's been asking me when I'm going to go swimming in this thing. I was hoping I was going to wait till it was heated, but I guess not. So, I don't, know, I don't want to do this, but <laughs> I guess let's do it anyways. It is like ice cold. <sighs> this sucks. Okay. Okay, this is doable. So I think it is in place. I might adjust it a little bit later on, but this is good enough for now. I'm cold, but I'm doing all right. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can keep seeing cool stuff. I know you guys are dying to see me get some fish in this thing, and it will be happening really soon. So subscribe, and then uh, comment what you think of me doing stupid stuff like this because I can't plan ahead. <laughs>